the United States women's national basketball team held their training camp here at the Champion Center on UConn's campus to basically decide which 12 players will make the Rio Olympic roster coming up over the summer. And you had UConn players past and present, players from the likes of Diana Tarazi, Sue Bird, Maya Moore, and current UConn player Brianna Stewart, along with head coach Gio Ariama. In addition to those UConn players, you had players from the likes of Brittany Griner, Tamika Catchings. Basically, the superstars of the WNBA were all here. And as you can see behind me, you have a lot of the players still here. Training camp just wrapped up. It was a three-day camp beginning on Sunday, going into Monday and today as well. We were basically able to catch up with a lot of different players and basically see what their thoughts were from the state of the WNBA to the state of U.S. basketball as a whole, what their plans are for the summer, how they got better. So let's go ahead and check out some of that footage. It's fun. This place is beautiful, you know, to be able to come here, I mean, especially for, um, you know, some of us who have, uh, you know, invested so much in this in this place and uh, so many players have come here as the competitors trying to to take down the Huskies so I think for for all of us it's cool to be able to be uh, able to, to prepare for the Olympics in this awesome facility. What's motivating you? What's driving you even when fatigue is starting to kick in? What's driving you to be the best basketball player that you can be? Um, you know, what's what's driving me when when I start to get tired and that kind of stuff is is looking at the players I'm playing with and playing against. You know, this opportunity, no one else in college is having this opportunity. And, you know, I want to make sure I take advantage of it. This is my favorite atmosphere. Um, it's incredible to look to your left, look to your right, and see all these All-Americans, all these gold medalists. And uh, now they're my teammates. And I feel like they just make me play a much better basketball and make me a better player. And that's what I'm trying to do is make them better as well. So I think we just uplift one another. Do you feel like you've gotten better in these three days at all? Absolutely. Um, when you play with players of this caliber, you can't not get better. You know, you have girls who can pass the ball at the perfect time, um, you know, uh, see you when you're open, make shots when I get them open. Um, so it's just been great to, to play with them and to learn things from them um, and even the coaches too. You know, they all kind of stand on the sidelines and when you come off, they give you some things. And uh, Coach Bruno especially, he's been helping me a lot with my rebounding, and um, I'll take a lot from this. This is awesome. I mean, I'm surrounded by champions, um, you know, people who've been here from the start, and for me being so young, coming in, and I'm just learning, and I'm developing, um, you know, things that I never thought I would, you know, and I'm just learning, and I'm taking it all in, and I'm competing with them, and that's the biggest thing, and I'm playing hard, and I'm learning, and um, they're doing a great job of making sure I understand what I need to understand. Hopefully, um, definitely feel a lot more confident this go around. Um, at a different place, you know, and uh, not as young anymore. Uh, I don't have that fear. Um, just feel good. Uh, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I hate sounding cocky, but I just I feel like you know, I feel like I should be here. I feel it feels right. It just feels everything feels like it's in the right place. Not being able to see each other as often and getting together and have camps and um, really develop whatever we need for our team is almost a unique a uniqueness to USA. Um, I think that keeps us more focused, actually, because we're not always together as other teams are, maybe in the summer, in the off season. Um, so it's it's not it's not hard, but it's not easy, you know. I think we have such a seasoned group and such an understanding group to know what it takes to really hone in and understand what we need to do in the short amount of time that we have to get ready for our next endeavor. I feel like the summer has a. Um some great energy right now. And I, f I feel like we say that every year because you're just supposed to say it, right? <laughs> the season, there's just so much energy. But for some reason, I really feel like this summer is going to be really important, I think, just in general for women's basketball to take the next step. Um, obviously, UConn's doing their part, by the way, they're playing. Obviously, Stewie coming to the WNBA. Um, the Olympics is huge. I feel like that's the time where we really get to go out there and kind of show not only the world, but show our country, you know, that we have the best players in the world. And, I, you know, I always thought we were always taking for granted because we're just supposed to win a gold medal. I mean, I don't know what we have to do to, to let people know it's not easy. This is what we do all year, year round. Um, so I think it's a huge year for women's basketball.
committee that will be picking the 12-man roster has a very, very tough decision to make. A lot of Some of the players weren't even here. You have players like Tina Charles and the likes that are playing overseas or players like Skylar Diggins that are coming off an injury and will be rehabbing. So the committee has a very tough decision to make, but hopefully the U.S. will pick 12 best players that make up the team. I'm William Richardson. This is UC Sports.